Hi guys. <laughs> By now you may think I've gone a runner or I'm ignoring you or I've given up. Uh, I haven't, okay. I haven't. Um, uh, the long and short of it is, and I'll just give you like the tiniest bit because uh, there's so much more to it. Uh, and I'll be able to tell you uh, in full and give her its full worth uh, when uh, I'm back again reading. But uh, basically, my mum was assaulted by uh, a member of staff. Yes, shocking. Absolutely shocking. I, you know, left a, a massive bruise uh, uh, and needing uh, medical attention. So, dear God, uh, I've tried to get her out of there. Uh, I've been forced. Um, by social services and the the home uh, to keep her there for the four week period not to do with her best interests or anything like that no for a four week period so that they can claim uh you know uh 1600 pounds a week uh, for for my mum so what's that six and a half grand so basically since august she's probably paid on near on uh, 15000 pounds uh, to be uh, abused uh, and assaulted I mean, it's just outrageous. So as you can imagine, the shit has hit the fan. Uh, I've been doing everything in my power uh, to to get her uh, moved uh, and somewhere else. But like I say, it's uh, this four-week period. And you may ask, why couldn't I just take her straight away after all that? Because it's unbelievable that the system would say the home gets the say, not me. And if I take her out of there, they can get the police on me. I mean, you know, it's diabolical and uh, just so, so, so wrong on many, many uh, levels. So, you know, you might think, oh, bloody hell. Uh, but I can't give you the background because uh, I'd be here all day, so I'll leave it to the next one. Um, so I haven't, uh, you know, disappeared. I am coming back. And as for Harry and Megan, oh, my God, I have kept uh, abreast of it all. Um, and... Oh, it's just a load of silliness. And do you know what? They're not actually doing anything, guys, okay? They're not doing anything. You're not seeing them doing anything. They're just all talk and fluff and it's all in the papers and it's headline grabbing uh, and desperation, basically. So uh, they are uh, definitely on their, their way out or Megan's on her way out uh, as well. Oh, don't worry about the Kardashians. Chris Jenner. A litre for breakfast, okay? Uh, there's nothing. Well, that's what you need, isn't it? A worse narcissist than uh, than Megan. Uh, so, yeah, they all start things, but, you know, Me Megan can't keep relationships. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're the, uh, you know, uh, ex-deputy president of the bloody United States. No one is of advisors. No one is sticking uh, around them. So I know it's a gall in your throat, but, you know, just be uh, patient, okay? Be patient and look forward to Halloween. So I'll, uh, I'm there every day with my mum uh, and uh, her cousin's going on uh, an evening uh, as well. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's a bit awkward <laughs> to say the least, but uh, anyway, we'll get there. So yeah, give me a week or uh, the week after uh, and she should be uh, moved uh, to to where she's a lot uh, more happier uh, and safer okay so i do thank you guys uh, for standing by me sticking with me uh you know it's one of them things she's my mum and when she passes i'll regret anything i didn't do for her um so so yeah anyway guys love you all okay i'll be back soon bye now bye bye